in the next step, the tools I'm going to be using are my bodkin and some cotton batten. You'd be able to find this at, I believe, any fabric store, crafting store. I can't say much else about it. I don't know if there's a specific weight or grade, but hey, it's, it's cotton batten that you would use for quilting. The next process, I'm going to show you how I, how I thread the bodkin and how I fill a channel. The piece of batten that you're looking at is not the length of the channel. There is going to be a reason why. Often, the batten will get stuck on one end of the channel, and as you draw the, the end through, only some of the batten gets pulled. That's fine. You just have to run it the other way, and that will fill the channel. So the easiest way that I have been able to figure this out is I, I just take a small length of the batten, cutting it, moving it like this, bringing my, bringing my bodkin here into frame, I'm just going to twist the end. Again, twisting that end, getting it, uh, getting, getting a, some good tension on it, so that way, as I thread my bodkin, as we, as we would thread our needle, put that through there. And now the next thing that I have to be careful of is that I get enough of the batten to go through the bodkin, and it's not going to pull apart as much when I pull it through the channel. So there we are. Batten in the chain, batten in the bodkin. Say that five times fast. Next step, I'm going to use the blunt end of the bodkin and I'm going to probe one of the channels, just opening it up. So there, you can definitely see that there is the channel here, the, the bodkin blunt end is in there. And now the, the next step, is going to be just pulling the pulling the bodkin through, following along the curve here. Now as this comes along, just guiding it into the one end. And just gently pulling it into the channel. You don't want to rip on it because you're going to lose a lot of the batten, and which is fine. And in this case, that worked out almost perfectly, thank goodness for the camera. Now I've got cotton batten on each end, which is fine. I'm going to trim that using my scissors. So there is a little, now as I fold this over, as you can see there, there's some batten here at the end of that channel. As you can see on this side, there's lots of batten on the end of that channel. Okay, I gave that a good trim and this channel is full. You can feel it being rounded and I'm very happy with the way that that turned out, especially first time on camera. So that's it. That, that is the easiest way that I've been able to figure out having to uh, get a really good quality channel along with using uh, the, a good amount of batten but not wasting and improvising with a tool that wasn't specifically designed for this. So there's my army training, improvising and adapting. There we are. I hope that helps. Off camera, I'm gonna stuff the rest of the channels and then I'm going to show you what, uh, what's been done and then I'm going to measure the length to see if that heavier weight felt kept the form and kept the length. Stay tuned.